Welcome back, friends. It has been 15 years of pain and heartbreak for the family of Renda Jari, who went missing 15 years ago. Joining me right now is her twin sister, Gada, and her brother, Sam. Thank you for being here. How are you? Thank you, Thank you for having us. Yeah, we're so delighted because we want to get this information out there. Tell us, first of all, about your beautiful twin sister. <sighs> Not only, she was beautiful inside and out. Yes. She would give her last dollar to Ooh. anyone. She was funny, quirky. Yes. She she was just a big heart, oh. big heart. Yeah, Sam, what do you remember? Most? Well, my sister was very talented. She Ooh. was an actress, she was a model, she, she was an, uh, a writer, she was an artist, she could draw and she had a, a smile that just lit up the room. Now, would sure. you say these 15 years, the most, what, it, what is the most that you've missed about her? That smile, I'm sure, that would light up the room is something that you've thought about. Definitely, yeah. and she's her so laughter. thoughtful and very her considerate, yes, you know? Yes, yes. You know, when, tell us a little bit about when and where she went missing. How did this all begin? Uh, she was in her home. Um, my sister Fadia was the last one to speak with her at 11.30 at night. She was going to bed and I was the last. So she was in her apartment the last we knew. Okay, where was her apartment? It was in what area? It was in Chiawassee in Fenton. Okay, so we'll think about that. Re remember this, uh, what the family's telling us. Now, students at Western Michigan University are working with the Michigan State Police, which I love, on your case. Mm -hmm. Talk about this. They they're really energetic, and they're ready to, to uh, help out. You know, it's fresh eyes. Yes. They're young. They're energetic. You know, they have the latest technology, um, but they're just as eager. I mean, we've met each and every one of them. They're wonderful, um, and and they're passionate, passionate, as passionate as we are to yes. find Renda. Yes. So. What would you like to tell someone out there if they they know any information Gosh. about the case? Just that Renda is so loved, and we need her back. We'll we'll take her any way we can get her. At this point, we just, we need closure. Yeah. Anything you'd like to say, Sam? Well, you know, it's like uh, when somebody dies, you, you have a funeral and you know what happened to them. You know, with this every day, it's like the unknowing. Every day, it's like, is she alive? Is she dead? Did she suffer? You know, what happened to her? Then, you know, my mom, she, she's got Alzheimer's, but she can remember oh. that Rhonda's missing. What happened to Rhonda? Mm -hmm. Wow. <clears throat> it's the unknown. It's the unknown. You just want her back. Just we just her want hug. her back. Yeah. And you just, know? And, and please, if you have any information out there, please let us know. Thank you Thank so you. much for coming here. Appreciate I will keep it. you in my prayers. Oh, I Thank you so much. It. So much. You Thank are you. So welcome. Now, the Fenton Police Department is investigating the case. They are working with the FBI to get surveillance video of a car seen near Renda's apartment the day that she went missing. Crime Stoppers is also offering a reward of up to $2,500 for any information in this case. You can submit an anonymous tip by calling 1-800-422-JAIL. Remember, your voice matters.